sweetie. Hi. Listen, what are you doing? <laughs> Ew. I have an idea. That's my good boy. That's this little thing that I want to kind of announce has been about a year in the works. <laughs> No humility in that one. Good morning, you guys. I gave Carissa the day off today. She has been working nonstop. She is a godsend. We've just been trying to get caught up in all the stuff we never get done. So some, some fall tillage. Mark did some manure yesterday. Um, I mulched the leaves five times because every time I mulch we got more wind. But I believe now all the trees are naked. We're really in good shape and it's just we haven't felt like this in so long and I'm not making that up and I'm not being over dramatic as I usually am. It's just feels like a huge weight's been lifted off this year which is weird because it's 2020 and there's a lot of other weights that are weighing very, very heavily. But I have been up to something and I think I'm gonna fill you in on that a little bit later. But right now, I just wanna go to my barn and do chores and be really boring. And I'll take you guys along for the journey. You haven't been in the barn with me for so long. Everybody's getting big. Well, ladies, have you been enjoying yourself? Looks like it. Yeah. Hello. You've been busy. Well, the boys are all to one end, and the girls are at one end, which means no one is in heat today. Is your job done here? What about these guys? Hello, Billy. Hello. How's my boy? How's my boy? Hmm? Yeah, everybody's just chill.
the plan for next week is to wean these September lambs. Uh, they're just nicely around that eight week of age right now, most of them in this pen and this pen. But I've been waiting for that very back pen, which was a couple weeks later, and next week we'll kind of split the difference between the two groups. Uh, all the lambs look phenomenal. Carissa has done an amazing job in my absence. Uh, my September, I do love September lambing. Just the temperatures are usually better. Uh, it's a bit cooler. The air quality is 100% better than in the dead of summer. And they just eat really well. So mortality has been good. Like everything's been really good. And shockingly, I haven't been here. So denominator. So easily can wean them. I'm thinking like a week today or maybe so Thursday or Friday next week, before I wean the lambs, I'd like to dry off, start drying off the ewes. Uh, it just kind of triggers them into maybe not producing as much milk now. Granted, they won't stop producing milk until the lambs stop nursing. So that is weaning day. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just running to the office, I'm going to make a new feed sheet and uh, switch these guys to a dry maintenance ration. So it's going to have a little bit of dry hay in it. Um, it's gonna have a wee little bit of corn. Oh, I don't know if it's got, haven't seen the rations in so long, I can't even remember what's in it. Uh, there might be a tiny little bit of corn solids, but no, no extra corn and, uh, and then some, some haylage, of course. So a pretty low maintenance ration, kind of getting rid of that excess energy and protein that they don't need right now as, as they're coming off that lactation. These are part of the reasons I like to do chores. Even with Carissa, Chris is here doing co-op placement, so she does actually have to be here through the week. But uh, this is pretty crucial timing, and I have to be here to observe a few things. And today is just one of those days, like I added an extra feeder in some of these uh, lamb pens because they're just, they're just attacking the feed. Just little things that she wouldn't know unless I tell her to do it. Uh, so I do like these days just to observe, because that's where you, you do your best management when you watch your sheep. I have an idea. Hi baby. What do you do? What do I got here for you? Hey. Hey. No. What do I got for you? Look. I went to the dollar store. Hey. Do you want to wear a hat? Do you wear a hat? Mm -hmm. Oh. So cute. Billy, you're so pretty. No? No? Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Billy, you're so cute. <laughs> I love you so much. You're such a good sport. I cannot believe you.
No. Oh my goodness gracious. Aren't you gorgeous? Oh, aren't you pretty? Aren't you pretty? Oh my goodness gracious. Look at you. Oh, good. You're so pretty. Look at, that Look at how pretty you are. Look at you. Billy, come here. Billy. Oh, Merry Christmas. Aren't you cute? Come here. That's a good boy. That's my good boy. That's Oh, you're such a king. You're such a king. Get strike a pose. Out, Kenzie. Okay, no, you're good. No, no. That was fun. <laughs> okay, chores are done. I've had some lunch. I've been trying to figure out all the things I want to say here. This little thing that I want to kind of announce has been about a year in the works. It's not a huge deal. It's a really big deal to me because anytime I start something new, I'm my own worst critic and I'm really scared and uh, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to share it with you, but I'm very scared of logistics. I always think of like, what's the worst po possible Thing that can happen and then I can't sleep at night. Hopefully by the time you see this it will be up and I won't have to worry about this anymore. Uh, I'm launching a website. Let's backtrack about a year and a half. Uh, I was working away at um, I think it was Squarespace at the time. I was just trying to figure out how to how to make my own website. I'm like can't be that hard. All the podcasts talk about it. Um, and I got it to kind of where I think it was gonna work and right before I clicked live I'm like no. No. You're not ready for this. Who do you think you are? You don't even know what your people want or even like, who are you? For all my critics out there and all my haters out there, trust me, there is no bigger one than yours truly. I can talk myself out of the best of situations. Fast forward a couple months later, I met with a woman who I've long admired. I've known her from 4-H circles and she had gone on her own and created her own uh, business helping organizations and people uh, create websites, create brands, all this stuff. So I sat down with her uh, over a glass of wine one, one night and said, would you be interested in creating a website for me? Because I said, I think I almost have it, but I've given up and I scrapped it and I don't even want to look at it anymore. I just, I don't have the brain power. And she said, of course I can. So we worked on that for probably quite a few months, probably like four or five months. And even that, I, I abandoned it again. I'm like, no, it's not what I want. Anyways, the channel in December kind of took off and in doing so, uh, it's been it's been amazing and I'm so truly grateful for it, but it's had a little bit of a negative effect to me personally, only because I'm such, if something's going good, I don't ever want it to start failing. So when my channel finally took off, I was daily vlogging. 
And I'm like, oh, so that's the trick. I guess I have to vlog every single day for my channel to grow. So I daily vlogged all of December, almost like pretty much almost daily from like December 1st to almost when I went to New Zealand, which was like March. And looking back now, I'm like, oh my goodness, it was so much. It really did a number on me mentally. I just started looking at analytics and if a video wasn't doing good, I'm like, I started playing around. Like you'll see me change thumbnails like three or four times because I'm so obsessive. It literally became a really bad obsessive thing. And uh, to the point where I guess here, just maybe a month or two ago, I finally, there's not a lot of people I can talk to this about. Um, I can talk to Mark a little bit about it, but I feel like it's these problems that we create ourselves. I don't want to put any more on my family. I did talk to my friend about it. She goes, you need a hobby. I'm like, dude, that's why I started YouTube because I needed an outlet. And then the outlet became work. And now she's like, well, you need another outlet. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Anyways, I listened to her and I started really honing in on you, my community. I really started reading your comments and your messages, and especially over on Instagram as well, because I have I have the ability to direct message people, whereas I don't have that here on YouTube. Wish I did. And what I'm seeing is a lot of you love the story. You love the characters. You, um, this year's been really horrid for a lot of people with COVID, and it's been an escape, and I'm like, that's my value, showing up is my value. And to be able to keep showing up for you, I had to slow down. It's been the best thing for me mentally. Um, it's given me time to really hone in on editing again, which I love doing. Like when I'm doing daily vlogs, the editing is like mm. And I do enjoy editing, I like adding music. I like doing these things because that's part of the creative outlet, the reason why I started it in the first place. But I also finally sat down with, um, with Christina, via Zoom, and we have designed a website, finally, with a store. And I have to say, this has been really hard as a Canadian to find a full, like, entire fulfillment company to work with because um, I, I, can, I couldn't find anything, and it's COVID, and I have to do all the research online, and I couldn't find anything or anyone in Canada that does that sort of thing. So what happened was Christine's been working on my website, so that's awesome. And I have been talking to Meredith of This Farm, this farm Wife, and she, I mean, we've been talking for years because we're in the space together. Uh, but I really, truly love her store portion of, of her website. So she kind of direct me, directed me to where she gets her stuff done and uh, with just one visit via phone, um, I'm like, yep, yeah, that's exactly what I want. So I do have a, a shop kind of like merch. I'm not putting it out there as a big money revenue generator. I have a full-time job. I farm full-time. I, I vlog now f pretty much full-time and I'm really full. So merch was something I did not want to do. I want to be very hands off, but the more people just, people just keep asking me for stuff. So um, the really, the things that keep floating upward is like wool and um, toque, not this one, but my original pink one. Like stuff that reminds you of something you've seen on the show. And for me, that, that really started my creative the creative process again, which is the thing that really helps me get out of some pretty dark places. So anyway, I started working on um, some limited time merch for Christmas. So I'm really, really excited. I'm praying nothing goes wrong. I have, um, I have a few things up my sleeve. You guys are the first ones. Well, I don't know. By the time this is out, you might not be the first ones to see it. So here we go. I'm going to put sheepishlyme.com. And there it is. So yeah, so I've got the YouTube videos. Um, <gasps> they've got it loaded. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here we go. This is the, you're the first to see this actually. Cause it, they just uploaded it. So I've got, oh, this is such terrible lighting. I'm sorry. I've got some Ruthie Christmas ornaments. I've got, Billy dryer balls. I've got Billy track pants because Christmas elastic waist. Hello. Oh, that's all they got on so far. Anyways, 
so there's more she's literally loading this as I'm on I can't believe this is happening it's like this is meant to be and there's also black billy hoodies white and kids hoodies so that's my holiday merch line so I hope you enjoy it I really did truly try to figure out I could be a little off but here it is. Siri, just enough with you. Yeah, and then there's other sections on the website. I'm trying to do, uh, like there's a resource section. So if you're a new sheep farmer, there's a whole section of, I went on Twitter f about a month or two ago and I said, I'm doing some research. Can you please give me your best resources for uh, sheep farmers getting into the business? So I have a ton of links. So check those out if you're a new sheep farmer. Um, I have some affiliate links, just I'm a, I have some Amazon affiliate links that I make like a couple cents if I sell a pair of coveralls or something with that link. Um, I don't really, it's just there. I had to fill the space. So um, don't, there's no pressure to, to use them. They're just there, but just know that, that um, that's what that section is. And then there's a contact section and I think that's it. So I'm super excited and I'm so happy I could share this with you guys. Thank you for always being here. Thank you for subscribing and supporting us. Uh, like I said, this has been, this is something that was never in the cards. I guess the whole branching into a website, YouTube is never a surefire bet that I'm ever even gonna stay relevant. And I understand that. And I think I just need to kind of pivot a bit, have another little branch that if YouTube, for whatever reason, if people just all of a sudden one day wake up and say, she is so yesterday, um, then I can work on a website and I can work on my writing, which is a huge passion of mine. And I can, um, you know, it's just, it's just a platform I think that will be a little more evergreen than YouTube if they decide to, um, to not show my stuff or if you guys just decide one day you're done, which, honey percent, I totally get it. <laughs> I love you guys and uh, have a great weekend. It's Friday. I'm gonna go help Jess clean some equipment. And um, yeah, that's the big news. So thanks for sharing the big announcement with me. See you later.